Okay, so now what I'd like to show you guys how to do is how to um, plot data. So the first thing I want to do is I'll click on the stat button and it has a list here. Um, if I click on edit, then I can enter in data right here in L1. Now I can, there are many lists that I can put in there, but I could put like one, two, three, four, five. And so now normally what we do, um, usually we look for regressions. And so there you can almost treat like L1 as the X values and L2 as the Y values. And we try to look for correlations between one parameter and another parameter. And so now I'm gonna put in these other values, although you don't have to. Um, but right now I just wanna put in one list, okay? Uh, actually, you know what, I take that back. We'll put in two lists. So now I'm gonna put um, one, and four and nine and um, 16 and 25. Now to graph this, um, what I need to do is see how this says stat plot. I have to hit second blue to highlight the stuff that's in blue and hit equals. Currently, if you notice, I have all my stats turned off, all my plots turned off. So I'm gonna turn on plot one and so as, a, as the cursor is blinking over on, I'm gonna hit enter. Now here's a cool thing, I can choose the type of plot that I want. I could do a box and whisker plot, I could do um, like some sort of histogram plot, I could do like uh, connected dots, like um, a, a, it's not quite a linear plot, but you connect the dots. I just want a data plot, okay? Now, by default, it'll automatically use L1 as the X values and L2, but I could change that at any time. If I hit second L3, see how it changed that? But by default, it's L1, always. Uh, and then I, can, I have another option. I could do the same with uh, the Y list, and then I can change um, you know, what, how I wanna mark that point. So maybe I wanna do these crosshairs. And then lastly, I can change the color, just like I could change the color of the graph to any color that I want. Um, I don't know, let's try brown, all right? So now the other thing is, is that when I go to, when I go to um, graph this, if I click on zoom from this point, um, option number nine, but I'll scroll down, is zoom stat. Now what that does, it'll zoom in on just the data. But I remembered something I have in my y equals some graphs, and I wanna turn those off. And now when I go to zoom, now if I hit zoom stat, it'll, it'll focus in on just those points, okay? And that's how you graph um, data points uh, and plot them in your graph. And then notice here uh, in this particular screen that I have set up, it'll show me L1 and L2. And so this is like the X value and this is the Y value.